welcome friends our focus today is on the exciting world of ai in mobile app development the rise of ai in app development might sound like a robot whose takeover is imminent but fear not ai is here to be a sidekick not a super villain personally i receive a lot of dms from learners about involvement of ai in coding as a student you might be hearing whispers about AI is taking over developer jobs. Don't learn coding. So in this video, I'll be answering questions like ChatGPT is already generating code. What is the point of me learning coding? Google Play Store policies are absolutely ridiculous. Given the growing use of web technology, why would companies want mobile apps? Yes, a simple prompt like create a calculator app in flutter can actually create it for you i am in agreement that google's policies are increasingly absurd making it challenging for the developers to launch their application and lastly yes web apps can replace mobile apps however i believe that mobile developers would still not lose their significance here's my answer to this questions and why i think so answer number 1 using ai tools can sometimes be terrible let me explain a recent experience which landed me in trouble for a specific purpose my client wanted me to open a list of apps that use gps example google maps yandex maps from our android app to do this my ai tool told me use the map_launcher plugin my code was successfully tested by my QA team and they found no bugs but bam i got a rejection from play store for doing this now this plugin internally has added a permission to query all packages if you are unaware this query all package in android allows apps to see all the other applications installed on a device hence using this is heavily restricted by google play apps need a very strong justification for needing this permission in order to be accepted into play store examples include antivirus app file managers and launches well if you ask ai tools how to open maps it will still tell you to go ahead with this plugin what we learn here is google taking necessary steps that might hamper someone's privacy Answer to some ridiculous requirements that Play Store imposes. While ensuring a well-functioning app is important, a recent changes tells that it requires testing on twenty different devices before you can make it live. It can be a burden for small developers as they have to approach twenty people to accept the test policies and then they can launch. Yes, it's painful. Some other ridiculous requirements include. changes in foreground notification if you use spotify did you notice the player coming in the notification bar well now developers have to take consent from the users to show it this ensures users are aware of the ongoing services and they can stop them if needed here are the actual reasons behind google enforcing this recent breaking changes in fact you need to implement them for your apps to work for apps targeting android 13 to use foreground notifications you need to display dismissible notifications which means user can close it anytime otherwise it used to drain the user's battery largely hence it was a compulsion done by google to take user's consent before displaying next is legacy speech service removed the legacy implementation of the text to speech engine is removed and replaced with the new text to speech api make sure to migrate to this api if you use them lastly general behavior changes there's a new runtime permission required to access notifications this means users can grant or deny notification access to your apps clipboard privacy apps can now hide sensitive information to stop copy and paste for example apps can stop users to copy cvv numbers from mobile app 
and force them to be entered manually. As a developer, it's important to stay updated on these latest changes as newer versions of Play Store policies are released. All these changes incline towards a secure operating system that Google thrives to achieve, keeping scammers away. Hence, Google imposes these policies which sound ridiculous. Answer 3. Why mobile apps are better than web apps? Device features. Mobile apps can integrate with devices, built-in features like GPS, camera, microphone, and fingerprint sensor. This allows for more advanced functionality and more personalized experience. Web apps generally have limited access to these features. Offline access. Mobile apps can be designed to work even without an internet connection. Example, WhatsApp. This is a major benefit for situations where connectivity is unreliable or unavailable. Faster performance. Mobile apps can leverage the processing power and hardware of the device itself, leading to a smoother and more responsive user experience. Web apps, on the other hand, are reliant on the user's internet speed and the capabilities of the web browser. If you agree to what I justified, then consider subscribing to our Programming Hub app, which offers a lot of courses. We ensure that our app can help in gaining knowledge from a beginner to even an experienced one. I'll add the app link in the description box below. Share this video with your friends, family, and anyone else who might benefit from learning about coding and development. If you like what we do, do consider subscribing to our channel. Together, we can spread knowledge and empower more minds to join the coding community. Happy coding!